Soviet Blue Water naval capability was enhanced with the arrival of the vertical takeoff and landing Yak-38, nicknamed the Forger. Forger squadrons were tasked with the job of intercepting enemy patrols of reconnaissance and anti-submarine aircraft, snooping beyond the range of the Russian aircraft carrier Kiev's defensive missiles. The Yak-38 was impressive as the second operational VTOL fighter but compared to the British Harrier, it was sluggish and lacked strategic capability. The aircraft was barely supersonic and needed three engines, each for a different purpose. Nervous pilots noted that the designers included an automatic ejection seat. The Yak-38 was of some benefit on the Kiev, but meanwhile, the Mikoyan Design Bureau planned to adapt their new MiG-29 fighter to fly from its deck. The result was the MiG-29K, the K model featured strengthened landing gear, folding wings, and a tail hook. The introduction of the MiG-29 startled observers at the 1988 Farnborough Air Show. It was the first Soviet high-performance fighter ever to be displayed there. The MiG-29 performed in aerial displays daily during the show. Mikoyan Design Bureau pilot Anatoly Kovotcha put his aircraft through an incredible display, highlighting the fighter's ability to maneuver at high angles of attack. Codenamed Fulcrum by NATO, the new interceptor proved to be small, nimble, and agile at all speeds. One of the more stunning visual elements of the Fulcrum's routine was its amazing ability to perform tail slides at low altitude. The aircraft possessed excellent dogfighting capability, a popular selling point that made the MiG-29 a major export item. The Suhoi Design Bureau had not fared well in fighter competitions throughout the years but a new generation air superiority aircraft named the Su-27 changed all that. Successful Western designs like the Grumman F-14 Tomcat and the McDonnell Douglas F-15 convinced the Soviet Air Force that they needed a new fighter dedicated to a single mission. Suhoi's unorthodox solution was a new generation heavy fighter aircraft based on an unproven aerodynamic and engineering theory. It was a very risky move but it worked. Suhoi's Su-27 prototype beat out Mikoyan's competing design. The design principles that made the Su-27 one of the world's most capable fighters have been incorporated into a more advanced member of the new generation. The Sukhoi Su-37 features articulated engine exhaust nozzles and canards. It's no wonder the Russians lead the world in thrust vectoring technology. The Su-37's enhanced maneuverability, together with a powerful Phasetron radar and a more lethal weapon system, makes it one of the world's greatest air superiority aircraft. The Sukhoi Design Bureau's fighter is true to the legacy of Russian solutions. To thine own self be true. They have reached different conclusions than the West's reliance on stealth technology. Russia's fighter pilots are also familiar with the old maxim, there are old dogfighters and there are bold dogfighters. But there are no old and bold dogfighters.